Hello, this is Jeremiah with Orthodox Road, and today we'll be talking about how to burn incense in a simple home sensor, kind of like this one here. So the things you're going to need for this are a sensor, like the one I've already shown you, a small vessel for placing your ash and burned incense in, a lighter or a lighter stick, a pair of tongs, charcoal, and of course, incense. Also, I like to have a pair of needle nose pliers on hand and a candle. I use the full size self light charcoal, which is the most economic option. I then break it into quarters so that it can fit into my small home sensor. The full-size pieces are great for church sensors, but they're a bit large for the home ones. As you can see, the inside of mine is not very big. Next, place the incense in the tongs, grab a lit candle, or use your lighter stick, and get the charcoal going. It sparks a lot during this process. Be careful not to hurt yourself. Take a full minute or so to ensure the charcoal has a few small spots on it that are glowing orange, meaning that they're lit. Again, this takes a few minutes. Once it's ready, place the charcoal in your sensor and wait several minutes. After about 10 minutes, the charcoal will develop a thin layer of gray ash on top of it. That means it's ready for incense. A lot of people will take a spoon of incense and place it on top of the charcoal. But I don't like doing that because it scorches the incense and produces a lot of smoke. Instead, I take my needle nose pliers and place the incense around the charcoal. This burns it lightly without scorching it. It still produces a ton of beautiful fragrance and a little smoke, but not the scorched, bad smelling smoke. People in my home have asthma and respiratory issues, so this allows me to burn incense without killing anyone. I hope this video has been helpful. If so, subscribe and check out my website, orthodoxroad.com.